What's good, everybody? What's good? You know, here in the lab, trying to get some stuff done. You know, sipping on a little something. Now, check this out. The other day, one of my partners wanted to ride somewhere, right? Go handle some business. I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I got you. Go do that. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, I don't know. I love the brother. That's like family. But sometimes he be out, out of limits with certain things, right? So let me say something and jump back to it. So he sent me this video with the brother Papa Doc, Papa Duck, my bad, from, um, I think he down there in Dade County soon, you know what I'm saying? Don't quote me on that. If anybody know, let me know, you know what I'm saying? I like a, I like the couple of videos. He said some real stuff. So he sent me this video with Papa Duck, who was showing this alleged nurse, alleged nurse, talking about the dangers of wearing masks, right? All right, so let me go back for and then come back. So I take him a couple places. Then he sees somebody he know, he yelling out the window to them. I'm like, man, he, you know, cause he, he DJ, I ain't gonna say his name, but he DJ. So he talking about some to the other guy who DJ in the parking lot, we're gonna get, take, I'm taking him to get some food. And he was like, telling the dude, yeah, let me know what's popping. Cause I want to go, I want to go do something. I'm in the house bored. So I'm like, man, come on, man. That's serious, man. Put your mask back on anyways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he like go into this riff, this tangent about, oh, no, nah, the mask don't do nothing for you. You know, it's really worse to have a mask. So I'm like, but I count it. You know, you touching stuff. You touch your face and head 10 times. You know, you, you pay attention to these things right now. I'm like, you touch your face and head like 10 times and you ain't use no nothing to clean your hands or sanitize your hands, wash your hands or nothing. Oh, my immune system's strong. But I'm thinking back five, six months ago, you had a common cold. Your immune system wasn't strong enough to fight the common cold back then. You know what I'm saying? But you want to tell me it's strong enough to fight this situation and we don't know what it is. Then I tell him, I say, so, say, you know, I do Uber. You know what I'm saying? I do Uber on the side. So I'm like, say, you know, people getting in and out my vehicle all day. What if I don't clean my vehicle? Would you be cool with getting in it? Well, if it look clean, I'm like, that ain't the point. You got mad about that. No, it is. You saying this, it is. You can't worry about all that stuff. The mask wrong. The virus will beat that. Block these squads. I said, all right, but we need to go to paying attention to keeping ourselves clean, being careful. Because you got other diseases out here to worry about. If not that, he ain't trying to hear that. Then he tell me, oh, because I, you know, back to what I said, he sent me the video. So I'm telling him, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I know somebody, I know a couple of people that lost friends and family members to this shit. It's real. Oh, it probably was something else. I'm like, I want to hear that shit, bro. I don't, I don't want to hear that fuck shit. You don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? You, you're not a doctor. You're not a scientist doing your research with the data. All right? So we get into that. And then he like, you know, what, I'm like, you listen to, what you listen to niggas who do, y'all excuse my language if you, you know what I'm saying, you've seen a couple of videos. I didn't use this type of language, but go back and watch more of my videos. You see that. But I always try to put information in my videos regardless of how I talk from time to time. I'm still young, educated, brother. I got knowledge. Thank God. So I tell him, I said, you listen to niggas who do YouTube and Facebook videos. Or you listen to Facebook. I mean, you listen to the, what you listen to government. You gonna run and get the vaccine. And I'm like, bro, people who I know and I love dearly have lost friends and family members to this shit. I'm, I'm listening to the reality of things. All right. So he sent me that video and it's saying the same thing. He sent me a video of a nigga that made YouTube videos. Then the nurse that he had in the video, right? Because it, 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 Papa Duck said something didn't cut to a nurse, a legend nurse. And the reason why I say this, she had on some scrubs and her badge was turned backwards <laughs> with stickers on it. She didn't say what hospital she was allegedly an RN at. You can't see her credentials. And I'm, I sent him a message back like, 
You prove my point. You listen to niggas who do YouTube videos. The CDC saying what they saying. They not necessarily part of the government. All right, let me play devil's advocate. Say this is a hoax. This is fake, right? So my people need to understand. Unless you got your own real Dr. Sadie, God rest his soul, who got 50, 60 years of research, been curing diseases for 50, 60 years. Unless you are a scientist or a doctor, black people understand this, and anybody else listening to that bullshit. Unless these people are doctors that are really willing to risk their careers on their opinion and their but also backing it up by their facts and research don't listen to them unless they scientists with research and data don't listen to them if it's a motherfucker who can't survive right now right and gotta get unemployment or gotta get stimulus checks like you don't listen to them if it's motherfuckers who got jobs that pay 10 12 dollars an hour don't fucking listen to them. This is what I'm saying. I love all my people and I'm praying for all of us. I'm so sad, saddened and sickened at the same time of people who watch YouTube videos. You know what I'm saying? This is a YouTube video, but if y'all haven't seen it, go back and watch my previous videos. I always try to come up with stuff that are factual. And I tell people to go check your facts. I check my research, check my facts of what I'm showing. And what tripped me out when I argue with people, right, that say I'm doing fake news, you know, Trump supporters and conservatives. They never bring up facts to dispute what I'm saying. They say what they feel and say fake news. Prove it. This is what I do. All right, this is a YouTube video, right? But if I'm going to talk about something that's going on now, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to bring up stuff that's facts. I'm not going to bring up another motherfucker that's doing a video like I do and say he's saying the gospel. Even if he showed me a video of a bitch with scrubs on, like I can't go order scrubs on fucking Amazon or go to a store and get my scrubs, or one of my family members, my sister and my brother and people that work in the nursing field can't give me old fucking scrubs to wear around the house. And a fucking uh, badge that I could have got when I was working at Wawa's. Fuck out of it. And the reason why I say this is because this is some serious shit that's going on. We don't know what the fuck is going on. That's the biggest problem. But to my people, right? If you want to make people believe you, this is why people don't believe hotel so-called fake wokers, right? We talking about the white man is this. The government is this, right? Like Tupac said, let's start our own revolution. Let's start our own country. Let's do our own thing, get our people out of here and go back to Africa and get our own country and fight for our country against these motherfuckers. Oh, no, we can't do that because you stupid motherfuckers want to go ahead and stay here and be comfortable. You talk shit and you still want to be here and be comfortable. I'm not mad at the government no more. You know why? Because I woke up. This is what a real, real woke looks like. I had a passenger who was a nurse. Talk about how serious this shit is. A actual nurse. I picked her up from her, from her place of business. She had her badge. I could see all this. Okay? So... But I still wouldn't put her out like that. That would be on her. All right. I brought this up about the situation. Of course, I ain't say my no, my dog name. I still love him. Not trying to shit on him, but it's just that shit pissing me off. It's ignorant, stupid as fuck, and I'm real like that. To, honest enough to say it. She, I was bringing that up. Like you don't want to trust the government and all this shit. And I told her straight, I'm pro black too. But you talk all this shit, but you still stay here and want to live off of it. And she would. And I could tell because she was on the phone before she got off and we started, you know, talking here and there. She was saying certain things. I could tell, you know, she she grew up around the way. Not saying she was saying the N-word or, you know, no shit like that. But it was certain phrases, you know, you can tell people grew up around the neighborhood, right? And and she said the same shit. She was like, yeah, I, I really don't get that how somebody can say, you know, they disagree with it, but they want to take the good part out of it. If you disagree with the government, don't fuck with them, period. She said the same thing white chick all right this is my thing my people i love y'all and i pray for us but if we're gonna sit here and talk about not fucking with this establishment not believing it lord jamar too i got love for the brother too but if you're gonna say all this shit why the fuck are we still here trying to be relevant 
If we the shit and we don't need them, we got all these people that are surgeons and all this stuff, create all this stuff. We created the phone. We created the the uh, the fucking stoplights and did heart surgery, surgery, open brain surgery, fucking peanut butter. Then why are we still here? This is my thing to my people. Don't listen to a motherfucker that's in a situation worse than yours. Don't listen to a motherfucker who think they smarter than you, even if they do got a degree. If them motherfuckers got a degree and got them being a teacher, you can't listen to them either. Unless they got facts, shit to back it up, research and data that's pros and cons that went against their own facts. This is why I can't respect what my buddy said because he didn't show me nothing that goes against what he's talking about. Real people that do science and research and data and doctors and stuff, they do pros and cons of studies. This is the stuff we need to do. Just wanted to say that real quick. Don't come with, to me with the finagle. Don't come to me with videos or YouTube and Facebook shit. And no facts. That's all I'm saying. So for my people out there, whether you black, brown, whatever or not, don't listen to motherfuckers who are telling you all this shit. Because you got a lot of people listening to what 45 is saying. And he bullshitting. This motherfucker didn't even realize to say negative on his test. Is that the term? Really? Fuck out of here. This your boy JT Opposite from the North. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? And make sure y'all don't listen for that to that fuckery, man. Don't fall for the finagle. Make motherfuckers show you facts and data. If they can't show you that, keep it moving. I'll let y'all another time.